In the days that followed September 11, 2001, we saw heroism everywhere, in places expected and unexpected. We also saw something all too rare, a true sense of national unity. In the days that followed September 11, 2001, we saw heroism everywhere, in places expected and unexpected. We also saw something all too rare, a true sense of national unity. Unity and resilience, the capacity to recover and repair in the face of trauma. Unity and service, the 9-11 generation stepping up to serve and protect in the face of terror, to get those terrorists who were responsible to show everyone seeking to do harm to America that we will hunt you down and we will make you pay. Yet we also witness the darker forces of human nature. Fear and anger, resentment and violence against Muslim Americans, true and faithful followers of a peaceful religion. We saw a national unity bend. We learned that unity is the one thing that must never break. Unity is what makes us who we are. America at its best. To me, that's the central lesson of September 11th. It's that at our most vulnerable, in the push and pull of all that makes us human, in the battle for the soul of America, unity is our greatest strength. Unity doesn't mean we have to believe the same thing. We must have a fundamental respect and faith in each other and in this nation. We are unique in the history of the world because we're the only nation based on an idea, an idea that everyone is created equal and should be treated equally throughout their lives. the families of the 2,977 people from more than 90 nations killed on September 11, 2001 in New York City, Arlington, Virginia, and Shanksville, Pennsylvania, and the thousand more who were injured. America and the world commemorate you and your loved ones, the pieces of your soul. But it's so hard, whether it's the first year or the 20th, Children have grown up without parents, and parents have suffered without children. Husbands and wives have had to find ways forward without their partners in their life with them. Brothers and sisters, uncles and aunts, loved ones and friends have had to celebrate birthdays and milestones with a hole in their heart. No matter how much time has passed, <clears throat> these commemorations bring everything painfully back as if you just got the news a few seconds ago. Mm -hmm.